Hey guys and welcome back to the third part of this uh, mini series regarding the Mac Mini for video editing and motion graphics. Um, if you didn't check the other videos, I'll post a link uh, beneath on the description for every video so you get a hold of um, uh, all the videos and try to understand why um, these are being made. Uh, so let's jump to our keynote once again and um, why the Mac Mini late 2012. Okay, so as you can see in the screen here, I've got a the desktops available at the moment and the laptops available at the moment for the Mac. And in the middle, I've got a the Mac Mini, which, um, as I said in the first video, um, it is a desktop, in fact, but uh, the components are of a laptop. Uh, but let's go for the first... Um, first uh, topic software requirements uh, when we are choosing a machine uh, whether it's Mac or, or not uh, we have to see which software we are going to use so we can um, select the parts uh, that are necessary do we need a fast CPU do we need much RAM do you need a graphics card and so on so if you are using let's say um, documents writing like the office package or uh, something similar like the keynote uh, sending emails browsing the internet you will not need uh, a very fast CPU you will be probably going with um, with a MacBook Air and uh, that will be enough or you can go on the Mac uh, MacBook Pro but uh, with the lower end spec uh, even probably the one without the retin retina display um, or you can go on the side of the desktop, uh, of the desktop, sorry, if you need a, a monitor, you can go with the iMac, uh, lower end spec, um, 13, sorry, 21 inch um, monitor, or you have the option of the Mac mini, lower end spec as well. Uh, on the other hand, if you are working with video as I am and photo, uh, video editing, photo, motion graphics, things like that. Well, why do we need a, a great effort from the CPU side, RAM and uh, GPU, uh, GPU in some in some applications uh, and some situations. Um, but if you are doing that, then you have to rule out uh, right away the MacBook Air, as uh, it only has um, dual core uh, CPUs, um, i5 and i7. So depending on the software <laughs> you will have to, to choose your uh, computer in my case uh, i i had to roll out uh, macbook air and the uh, low-end uh, macbook pros low-end uh, mac minis and low-end uh, imax and those were all ruled out when i bought the mac mini these this model of the mac pro wasn't out yet um, and uh, as we said in the beginning for browsing the internet, the emails and things like that, this one would be rolled out because there's no point to it. Uh, so having this in mind, the software requirements, you come to another uh, thing that is portability. So if you need portability, you have these two options uh, <laughs> for low end stuff and for more demanding uh, stuff. The, the MacBook Pro that uh, I showed you on the first video and we will be b benchmarking it um, with the software that um, that I use. Um, it's the the late 2013 with the Aswell uh, CPU 2.3 to Robust 2.9. Uh, so that would be a great um, laptop if you need portability while working with video and um, demanding applications. Of course, you could go with an iMac and in here I would suggest um, for me, of course, the high-end spec iMac, uh, which is similar to the performance that I have on my main um, desktop. Of course, I already have all these uh, monitors here and I could replace the middle monitor with an iMac, but uh, for now I, I wouldn't uh, see the investment. I don't know, in the future we never know, but um, uh, <laughs> let's let's rule it out um, at the moment. As I said, in 2013, there was no Mac uh, Pro. 
another thing that led me to think is, will it be my main PC or secondary PC? And can be your case as well. Is it your main PC or your secondary PC? In my case, it's a secondary machine. Um, so I wasn't going to, uh, at that moment, get an iMac. It was no, no, the investment was not, uh, from a business point, point of view, was not, um, was not great. So if it is your main PC, you might want to consider going this way or uh, the Mac Pro. Uh, if it's a secondary PC, I would consider maybe the MacBook Pro or the Mac Mini as, uh, as I did. So that's another thing that we have to, to get in mind, or at least I had in mind. Uh, other hardware that you have. So in my case, I've got uh, everything, <laughs> everything that I need to, to work. And for example, if I bought a iMac, I would have to take this uh, screen here and put the iMac on the middle, um, or I could use the iMac on another side, but it would not uh, go along with my workflow, which is centered here. So, uh, and I don't want to lose that workflow because it really works well for me. So we have to get in mind, or to have in mind, sorry, other hardware that we already have in our office. Um, and the investment. How much are you willing to invest in this main PC or secondary PC? Uh, in this case, on the Mac. Uh, if I were investing right now, uh, for the first time, first Mac, I would uh, probably make the same choice that I made a year ago. Um, maybe having in mind uh, all the tests and the experience that I have with that, Probably I would go with, uh, if not the Mac Mini, I would go with the MacBook Pro top end of the of the line, um, maxed out the CPU, RAM maxed out at 16 gigabytes. Uh, the disk would be alright, uh, 512 gigabytes SSD. Probably I would go with this solution. Uh, you can ask why don't you go with the Mac Pro? For me, the price point of the Mac Pro is not uh, worth it. Uh, for the four cores. 3,000 euros. Uh, if the three, three, sorry, 3,000 euros bought me a six cores, I would think twice. For the four cores, no. Six cores will come around um, 4,000 and something euros. So, and and for a while I've seen the reviews on, on, the, on the software that I use, uh, it gives me not much more advantages than what I have at the moment in my main workstation. Of course, it's a great machine, a uh, very capable machine, um, but for the real world tests that I've seen so far, uh, not that much of advantage. And in, in terms of price, it's a big, big difference. Uh, of course, if you go to the Geekbench, you'll see scores crazy from the Mac Pro. Uh, but once we start rendering After Effects in Premiere, and uh, I've had the opportunity to see some real-world benchmarks in, in YouTube and Google, and they didn't impress me. I'm talking about the four uh, cores um, Mac Pro. And this comes to a part where <laughs> we have to decide. So for me, the best investment was Mac Mini. Um, made me available to work with with the software that I wanted. I didn't have to invest much. Was eight hundred euros. I had the discount because I'm a teacher, um, and then I, I bought uh, three hundred and fifty euros more of software. It was Final Cut, uh, Apple Motion Five, and um, uh, Compressor. Um, Final Cut and Compressor. I'm still learning how to to mess with that. I'm playing around on my free time. Uh, Apple Motion Five is what I use more. And it was a very <laughs> well spent 50 euros. Uh, all that investment that I made already had uh, my return. So, um, well, it's it's great. So I wanted to share this with you and also uh, make you think why do you want the Mac and what sorts of, of uh, software do you use? On the other hand, you might be thinking, why don't you make an Akintosh? And... Um, Let's go with the Macintosh. I have uh, this case over here, uh, all the components. You can check my previous videos where I build my system. And uh, first, um, I've got a 4770K, uh, 4770K CPU. 
uh, Asus Z87 Expert, 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, NVIDIA GTS 760, SSD, and besides the SSD, I've got uh, three other internal drives, plus um, uh, plus several <laughs> external hard drives uh, laying around here, each one of them with their use uh, case and a great, great um, power supply. That being said, I could go with uh, Akintosh. So first point, price. Yeah, definitely. I, if I went with a Hackintosh, I didn't have to make um, any investment, at, at least investment with money. I would need to invest time, that I would. But in money would be a great, um, a great deal. Now, regarding uh, stability, the tests that I made, <laughs> stability was not, not very good at all. And um, any update, I was afraid to make any update because it could crash and... and uh, you know, it's it's not safe for me, and as this is not a machine that I play around, I receive um, client projects to 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 deliver. Um, I cannot be playing around with a machine that can break uh, suddenly, and um, uh, this was not not uh, good at all for me. So in the last place, I say that is the risk worth it? Uh, not for me. I prefer to spend. Um, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 euros and have a system that is stable and I know that it's not going to fail. Well, everything fails, but 99% uh, of the times it will not fail me. Um, then having a system that I don't spend money, but I'm on the risk of every second and my heart goes. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not taking the risk. So, Akintosh for me is a big no. Sorry, guys. I, I know there are a lot of uh, guys there, a community around Akintosh. I understand that. Um, by no means, I want to lead uh, people not to try the Akintosh way. Go ahead. If you have time, if you like building machines, go ahead and try the Akintosh. Uh, it might be fun. It might be nice. Uh, it's just for me. It's just, in my personal opinion, Akintosh is not worth it for a working environment. Uh, you have a lot of risk associated and it's not uh, worth it for me. What I would like to have at this moment, to be honest with you, would be a upgrade on the Mac Mini. And if you ask me what upgrade would you like to see, uh, would be simple. An iMac fully specced out, but without the screen. <laughs> the box could be, could be even bigger, um, but that would be uh, great for me. And I would give uh, 2,000 euros uh, no problem because if, if we see the specs uh, the maxed out goes around 2800 euros so if you take um, the display off that the cinema for uh, the cinema display um, it should go 1000 euros down so 1800 uh, euros but let's say apple puts <laughs> another 200 on top i would go for 2000 euros i would go for a a super mac mini uh, which is with uh, the iMac uh, specs, fully specced uh, graphic card, the SSDs, etc., and so on and so on. Um, I would go that way. Uh, so that would be the ideal for me at this moment. doesn't exist. So I'm just dreaming here and sh sharing with you. Uh, okay, guys, so we are in the end of this, uh, of this part of the video. Um, why choosing the Mac Mini? This is why I chose the Mac Mini budget, uh, software requirements, and uh, all the topics that we covered um, and I try to explain as best as I can. So now uh, on the next video we, all s we will be starting with the Adobe Premiere rendering times. Uh, this uh, three videos, sorry if I took to too long, but I wanted to give a more in-depth uh, view of what's in here <laughs> and what I thought uh, to, get, um, uh, to get my Mac Mini. And now we are going to the real uh, world tests. And um, I see you on the next video, if you are not bored already <laughs> with my videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in a few minutes.